special arrangement with CCG88 Incorporated, All in Molar Incorporated is proud to present the following collaboration effort. Hey guys, it's all. Today we're gonna- Hey, I exist too. Oh, I guess you're right. Anyways, today, me and Cam from CCG88 are going to review the history of a PBS station's logos. They've been called cheesy on many occasions, even once by No himself. Of course, we're talking about South Carolina ETV. Alright, take it away, Cam. Alright then, get out your fake PTLE textbooks, because it's time to discuss the history of the channel. The state network began in 1957, after the South Carolina General Assembly started a study in the use of educational television in the state's public schools. A studio was opened in the library of Drea High School in Columbia. The first telecourses, a French course taught by Madame Lucie Turney High, and a geometry course taught by Cornelia Turnbull, aired on September 8, 1958, via closed-circuit television. By action of the SCGA, the South Carolina ETV Commission was created as a state agency and began operations on July 1, 1960. By 1962, it extended closed-circuit classroom television service to all 46 South Carolina counties. Alright, some more history, but nothing interesting. So let's start off with the first print logo? Well, it's unlikely it was used in 1963. Wikipedia says so, but it wasn't. They used this one instead. The final's from 1977, but I don't think they had a logo in 1963 anyway. Let's go on screen. So this is the Scanimation ETV, and it was used sometime from the 70s until 1981. Pretty unique if I say so myself. Most people hate Scanimate, but for most of the time, I just find it dirty. That's ten. I also like the synth. Alright, Kim, yeah, your turn for the next logo. Okay, up next is what most people have considered to be the worst logo from the station, GTSC. It was used from 1980 to 1983. As Alden said, a lot of people hate animated logos. But this sort of animation would have been groundbreaking for the time. The music doesn't correlate well, but it's certainly catchy. This abstract SC shape would become a universal symbol for the company as it was used until 2000. Arguably the most well-known logo from the company is the metallic SC, used between 1983 and 1993. I managed to find five variants of this logo. All of them contain an announcer. From 1983 to 1990, an announcer says a production of the South Carolina Educational Television Network. A production of the South Carolina Educational Television Network. From 90 to 93, an announcer enunciates a production of South Carolina ETV. A production of South Carolina ETV. A version where an announcer says a presentation of the South Carolina Educational Television Network exists presentation of the South Carolina Educational Television Network. And the final version has an announcer saying a presentation of South Carolina ETV. A presentation of South Carolina ETV. It's simpler than before, but it's also better. I do wish that the variants with all the announcers had music though. Back to you, Alden. Alright, thank you, Cam. This next logo is called the Multi-SC, and it was used from 1993 until 2000. A presentation of South Carolina ETV. Game managed to collect two variants. There's a version where the logo freezes. And there's a version with presented by South Carolina ETV in yellow above the logo. There was a variant that said a production of over the logo, but even with Cam's GET FIGHTING SKILLS OF THE SYNTHOTIC, we couldn't find it. Honestly, I don't like this logo. The cheesy early 90s CGI, completely sharp bubbles, just kinda doesn't work. Also, it's ugly now that there isn't a split in between the C and the S. It's just kinda cheesy. 
Anyways, the next logo isn't on the CLG wiki, which is one of 1,000 ways I can prove the site guilty of misinfo. I call it the pointy SC in space, and it was used from 2000 to 2003. Very boring. I'm glad that this ended after three years. It's more ugly than Lois Griffin without makeup. Let's swiftly move on to the next logo, which I call the Green Man. And it was used from 2003 to 2016. There's a version without the whoosh, but it's not even worth playing. I also don't necessarily like this logo either. The guy looks generic and so does the text. It looks very similar to any health organization logo, which are also usually very generic. The whoosh, I can tell, is the exact same used in the Good Times logo from the 1990s. But it is a decent effort for 2000's Flash animation. That's all I have to say, so start mining away at the last two, Cam. We've had some basic animation during this episode, but the next logo is almost at rock bottom. We've called it Boring SCETV, and it was used until 2016. The CRG wiki is currently unsure about when it was introduced, but the earliest date we know is 2013. This is disgraceful. It doesn't include the man from the previous logo, it doesn't have sound, and it doesn't have pleasing animation. It's left me unimpressed. This might actually be the plainest PBS affiliated logo of all time. Say hello to the blocky SC, it's still in use today. From what I know, there are two variants. One is an extended version with an announcer. This is ETV. And there's this version without the outline of South Carolina. This original turquoise version makes me sick. The only animation is the subtle colour changing background. The variants have a little bit more effort, but I'm saying that very loosely. This modern era of logos is dispiriting and lacklustre, and considering what's coming out recently, I don't think this modern era is ending anytime soon. I agree with you, Cam. Simplification in modern logos is almost a disease. More companies are swapping, and there's no cure for it. Anyways, thanks you all very much for watching. I hope you like Cam's videos, subscribe to him, and tell your friends about his content, and have a great night, my audience. PTLE is a production of Television 12.